Spokane has big plans for an electric trolley in downtown. I think it'd be kind of cool. My kids would love it. But not everyone is on board. Taxpayers should not be asked to spend mon more money on something simply because it's cool. Why opponents want to put on the brakes. So the question is, is this type of system really needed? Then I know. Live from the KXLY4 HD Broadcast Center in downtown Spokane, with one full hour of news, this is KXLY4 HD News at 6. San Francisco is known for its trolleys. Maybe Spokane would be too. The city is considering an electric trolley bus downtown. It would carry passengers between Browns Edition and Gonzaga. KXLY Force Kylie Cruz joins us now. And Kylie, not everybody is uh, agrees with this new transition or transit option. The city of Spokane and the Transit Authority are in the early stages of putting together a plan to build an electric trolley bus. And even though this would take many years to actually see the plan in place, there's already disagreement over the proposal. On any given day, thousands of people in Spokane hop on the bus to get around. But people could soon have another way to move about the city. We think we can get the bang both from a transportation and an economic development perspective from the trolley bus. The proposed trolley bus route would start in Brown's Edition and go through downtown in Gonzaga. The three mile stretch is estimated to cost $36 million and not everyone is happy about the sticker price. Transit is, is obligated to move people from point A to point B as efficiently as possible and really the electric trolley bus will do nothing more than add to the cost of that. Chris Cargill of the Washington Policy Center thinks the trolley is too expensive and that the city should look at more cost effective options. An enhanced bus uh, option that would move along this same route and provide a a cheaper expense for taxpayers and it would move people just as efficiently as an electric trolley bus would. But Susan Meyer from STA doesn't think this type of bus system would work. We don't think that we can meet all of our objectives with a bus. We don't think people will see it as uh, the kind of cool transportation mode we're looking for. And residents seem to have mixed views about it. I like the idea because I think it would be a lot cleaner and easier than the bus mainly. And I think it'd be fun. I think my kids, my kids would love it. If, if it seemed to me that the, the plan was not well thought out, uh, so that it would end up costing taxpayers uh, money that would not benefit them, I would not be for it. After the City Council and STA Transit Board adopt the proposal and create a strategic plan, voters will then have the final say. It's expected to appear on the ballot in 2013. If voters approve the trolley system, it would take another three years to actually put it in place. Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 HD News.